we're going to find the area between these two curves. Our first step is to set the two functions equal to each other so we know where they are going to intersect one another. So I took 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. I set it equal to negative x squared plus 2x. And you can see here that I solved, and I found that I have an intersection point at x equals negative 2, 0, and 2. So negative 2, somewhere where x equals negative 2, these two graphs are going to intersect. Somewhere where x equals 0, and somewhere where x equals 2, these graphs are going to intersect. Negative x squared plus 2x. I'm going to start there because that's a quadratic function, so I'm going to start just by graphing that function. I know it has an x-intercept at x equals 0. Negative x squared plus 2x equals 0. We factor out the negative x and we get x minus 2. We get another x-intercept at x equals 2. It's a problem that opens down. So between 0 and 2, we're going to have our maximum. So this graph is doing this. And I can make it actually a little bit more accurate here. I don't like the way this looks. So left one down one, left one down one, two, three. Left one down one, two, three, four, five. So it's looking like that. There we go. And this side. Right one down one. Right one down one, two, three. And then right one down one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. It's going to help to be a little bit accurate here on the parabola at least. Then we have 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. We know that it has an x-intercept at x equals 0 as well. What's going to happen here is that it's going to intersect where x equals 2, negative 2. And then it's going to do something like this. It's going to have a turning point. It's going to cross through its x-intercept and also where the parabola And it's going to do something like that. So we want to find this area and this area and add them together. So we can see that f of x is sitting higher than g of x. So we're going to have f of x minus g of x for this. And for the next, we're going to have the next integral, we'll have g of x minus f of x. So here's our integrals. From negative 2 to 0, we have f of x minus g of x dx plus the integral from 0 to positive 2 of g of x minus f of x. So I'm going to color code. Here's your area. It's going to be in yellow on the graph. And then this integral represents the area that's going to be in green. So now we're going to do the algebra. Negative 2 to 0. f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. I'm going to subtract from that g of x, which is negative x squared plus 2x. And our green area from 0 to 2 will be negative x squared plus 2x minus all of f of x.
would be easy to integrate here. So we're going to have 3x cubed. Integrate if we simplify. 3x cubed and then negative x squared plus x squared cancels out. Negative 10x minus 2x is negative 12x. Here we have the same thing but the opposite signs. So we're going to have negative 3x cubed plus 12x. And now we're ready to integrate 3x to the 4th over 4 minus 12x squared over 2, which is 6x squared, evaluated from negative 2 to 0, plus negative 3x to the 4th over 4, plus 6x squared, evaluated from 0 to 2. And when we put a 0 in, we get a zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Then we're going to subtract from that. Putting a negative two in. I'm going to end up with two terms right there. When I put a negative two in, I get 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 3 is 12. And then we, here we have 24. 6 times 4 is 24. The opposite of negative 12. is positive 12. Then when we put the 2 in, when we put the 2 in, we're going to end up with negative 12 this time. And when we put the 0 in, it's not done here. Negative 12 plus 24 minus, when we put the 0 in, we get 0. So we have 12 plus 12 is 20. Now, it did ask for the area. So it would be appropriate to say 24 square units. Yahoo, we did it.